Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice square root problem? Solution from what we are given here. We can rewrite this as square root of here yeah, root 12 can be written as root 4 times 3, then divided by 9 plus root 108 here yeah, can be written as root 36 times 3 then also from when we have root a times b here we can separate it as root a times root b then what we have here becomes square root of root 4 times root 3 then divided by 9 plus root 36 times root 3 that is here this is same thing as square root of root 4 that's 2 so we have 2 root 3 here then divided by what we have here becomes 9 plus 6 root 3 and then what we have inside this square root here we can rationalize this by multiplying with a conjugate sort. Then, when we rearrange what we have here, this same thing as square root of 2 root 3 divided by 6 root 3 plus 9. Then multiplying by its conjugate sort, we have into bracket 6 root 3 minus 9 then also multiply this by 6 root 3 minus 9 then when we open this bracket from here we have this becomes square root of 2 root 3 then 6 root 3 here yeah? that will give us 12 times 2 times 6 that's 12 then root 3 times root 3 that's 3 that's 12 times 3 then minus 2 times 9 we have 18 then root 3 from there which is divided by here this follows from power square when we have a plus b into bracket a minus b and this can be written as a square minus b squared which implies we have 6 root 3 all squared minus 9 squared that is here we have square root of here we factor 3 out 3 is common here then we have 3 into bracket 12 minus here we are left is 6 root 3 close bracket then divided by what we have here the square affects 6 that's 6 square keep the 6 also affect root 3 and square can be square root that's 3 that's the distance 3 then minus next square here that's 81 then also from here 3 is also common from the denominator here so we have square root of 3 into bracket 12 minus 6 root 3 then divided by 3 into bracket 36 minus 27 left here then from here 3 cancel each other then what we have left becomes square root of 12 minus 6 root 3 divided by 36 minus 27 there we have 9 then from here we can write this again as square root of 1 over 9 multiplied by 12 minus 6 root 3 then since 
1 over n is multiplying this, then we can separate it as root 1 over n multiplied by root 12 minus 6 root 3. That is here, root 1 over n, same thing as root 1 over root 9, which is 1 over 3, then times. Here, we can rewrite this as square root of 9 plus 3 here, same thing as 12, then minus 2 times 3, then times root 3 from here. That is, from what we have here, we can rewrite 9 as 3 square, and we have 1 over 3 times square root of 3 square, then plus 3 as well can be written as root 3 squared, then minus 2 times 3 times root 3. And from this identity, when we have a square plus b square minus 2ab, this is the same thing as a minus b all squared. That is from what we have here. a is serving as 3 and b is serving as root 3. Then what we have now become 1 over 3 times square root of into bracket 3 minus root 3 or square. Then from here, square here cancel square roots. Then we are left with 1 over 3 into bracket 3 minus root 3. Then we can use 1 over 3 here to open these brackets and this give us 1 over 3 times 3 minus 1 over 3 times root 3 and here this cancel out we have 1 minus here root 3 over 3 and here we have the solution to the given problem as 1 minus root 3 over 3 so what we are given here is now same thing as 1 minus root 3 over 3 and thank you for watching don't forget these steps subscribe for more videos and turn on the notification bell share this video give it a thumbs up if you have a comment put it in the comment section and thank you for, for your support see you next class and bye for now